Now we start with the HIV test. For this, we need to sterilize the finger for the alcohol swab. We prick the finger for the blood collection. The blood will be collected in the pipette. We have to make sure the tip of the pipette capillary tube should not touch the patient's skin. Now we shall see the test on the rapid test reader for the HIV test. For this we will have to select run test. Once we select that we select HIV and select run. We insert the cassette in the rapid test reader and we select single test or we enter the patient ID if any and we begin the test once the result is shown on the rapid test reader it will be subsequently shown on the screen we can also take out a printout of the result Now we conduct the cytomegalovirus test which is also called as a CMV rapid test. To conduct the test we need to sterilize the finger with the alcohol swab. We prick the finger for the blood collection. We discard the first drop of blood and the subsequent drop of blood is taken for the test. The blood is collected in the pipette. We make sure that the tip of the capillary tube should not touch the patient's skin. The blood is then dropped in the cassette with two drops of sample dilute. It will take 10 minutes to display the result on the cassette. Now we see the result on the rapid test reader. For this we select run test. Then we select CMV. And we select run. We insert the cassette inside the rapid test reader. And we select single test. We have to select patient ID if any and we select begin test. Once the results are displayed, we can take out a physical printout and the results can be displayed on the screen as well. Now we conduct the dengue rapid test. For this, we have to sterilize the finger with the alcohol swab. We prick the finger for the blood collection. We discard the first drop of the blood and subsequent drop of the blood shall be used for the test. The blood will be collected in the pipette. The tip of the capillary tube should not touch the patient's skin. 5 ul of blood will be dropped on the cassette with three drops of sample dilute. It will take about 20 to 25 minutes for the results to be displayed on the cassette. Now we shall see the results of dengue test in the rapid test reader. For this we have to select run test. We have to select the uh, dengue once that is selected, we again select run. We insert the cassette of dengue into the rapid test reader. We select single test. We put in the patient ID if any. And we select begin test. Once the results are displayed on the screen, it is also displayed on the health ATM screen. We can also take out the printout from the rapid test reader. 
Now we conduct the chikungunya rapid test. For this, we need to sterilize the finger with the alcohol swab. We need to prick the finger for blood collection. We have to make sure that we discard the first drop of blood and subsequent drop of blood is to be collected for the test. The blood will be collected in the pipette. The tip of the capillary tube should not touch the patient's skin. 5 ul of blood will be dropped on the cassette. with two drops of sample dilute. It will take about 15 minutes to display the result on the cassette. Now we shall see the result of chikungunya test on the rapid test reader. For this we will select run test. We will select chikungunya. We will select run. We will insert the cassette into the rapid test reader and select single test. We will add the patient ID if any and select begin test. Once the test is displayed on the screen, it will subsequently be displayed on the screen. We can also take out a printout from the rapid test reader. Now we shall see the results of malaria on the rapid test reader. For this we will select run test. We will select the malaria test. Again select run. We will insert the cassette into the rapid test reader and select single test. One, we will put in the patient's ID if needed and begin the test. Once the results are displayed on the rapid test reader, it will be also displayed on the health ATM screen. We can also print from the rapid test reader. Now we are conducting the Typhi typhoid rapid test. For this, we will require 50 ul of blood from the test tube. Fifty ml of blood is dropped on the cassette with one drop of sampled dilute. We shall wait for 15 minutes for the results to appear on the cassette. We shall now see the results of pilory test on the rapid test reader. For this, we select run test. We select the name of the test which is Typhi. We select run again. We insert the cassette into the rapid test reader. We select single test. We write the patient ID in case any and we select the single test. Once the results are displayed on the rapid test reader, it is also displayed on the health ATM and we can also take out a print from the rapid test reader. Now we conduct the hepatitis A, H, which is also called as HAV rapid test. For this, we need to sterilize the finger with alcohol swab. We prick the finger for blood collection. We discard the first drop of blood as subsequent drop of blood will be used for the blood test for the test. The blood will be collected in the pipette. The tip of the capillary tube should not touch the patient's skin. A 5 ul of blood is dropped on the cassette with two drops of sample dilute. It will take about 15 minutes for the result to be displayed on the cassette. Now we shall start with the cardiac troponin test. For this we require 100 ul of blood sample which will be dropped in the cassette with 
one drop of sample dilute with one drop of sample dilute this will take about 15 minutes for the results to appear on the cassette now we shall check the results of cardiac troponin in the rapid test reader we will select run test we will select troponin and again select run we will insert the cassette into the rapid test reader and select single test and we add the patient id if any and select begin test once the results appear on the rapid test reader the results will appear on health atm screen as well we can also take out the print from the rapid test reader now we conduct the rheumatoid factor test which is also called as the rf rapid test for this we sterilize the finger with the alcohol swab we need to prick the finger for blood collection we shall discard the first drop of blood and use the subsequent drop of blood for the test the blood will be collected in the pipette we make sure the tip of the capillary tube is could should not touch the patient's skin 5 ul of blood will be dropped on the cassette with two drops of sample dilute it will take about 15 minutes to display the result on the cassette now we shall see the result of rheumatoid factor which is rf on the rapid test reader for this we select run test we select the name of the test which is rf Once this is selected we again select run and insert the cassette into the rapid test reader we select single test we enter the patient id if any we select the begin test the results are displayed on the rapid test reader as well as on the screen we can also take out a print out from the rapid test reader of the result now we start with the psa test which is the prostate cancer test we need 100 ul of blood from the test tube which will be dropped at the, in the cassette with one drop of dilute sample it will take about 15 minutes for the results to be displayed we shall see the results of prostate cancer which is also known as psa rapid test for that we will select the run test we will select the name of the test which is psa and again select run we will insert the cassette into the rapid test reader and select single test we will enter the patient id if any and select begin test once the results appear on rapid test reader it will eventually appear on health atm we can also take out the print out from rapid test reader now we conduct the herpes test which is also called as the hsv1 test for this we have to first sterilize the finger with the alcohol swab we need to prick the finger for blood collection for this we have to discard the first drop of blood and subsequent drop of blood will be used for the test the blood is collected on the capillary tube we have to make sure that the tip of the capillary tube should not touch the patient's skin once this is done 10 ul of blood will be dropped on the cassette 
Now it will take 10 minutes to display the result on the cassette. Buffer. Ah, buffer. Okay. Now we will read the result on the rapid test reader. For this, we click on the run test. We click on HSV and run and we insert the cassette and we click on the single test. We will add patient ID if any and click on the test. Begin test. The result is displayed on the rapid test reader. The print can be taken out physically as well as can be seen on the screen.